question 10a the total surface area of two spheres are in ratio 9 to 49 if the radius of the smaller sphere is 12 cm find correct to the nearest cube centimeters the volume of the bigger sphere the radius of the bigger sphere is needed before you can obtain the volume let the total surface area of the smaller sphere be s and the bigger sphere be y so you have s ratio y equal to 9 ratio 49 from the question you can express ratio in fraction you get this result so the total surface area of the smaller sphere is this with small arrow of the bigger sphere is this with capital arrow equal to 9 over 49 you can divide 4 pi by 4 pi here you are left with arrow square over arrow square radius of smaller sphere is 12 so you have 12 squared over capital arrow squared equal to 9 over 49 if you make arrow square the subject you have this result that simplifies to this and arrow is the square root of this which is 7 times 4 and you have 28 cm volume of bigger sphere is this you simply replace the radius with 28 to the power of 3 if you simplify you get this when you multiply and divide you get this to the nearest cube centimeters you have 91898 cube centimeters as the volume of the bigger sphere question 10b a cyclist starts from a point s and rides 3 kilometers due west to point y at y he changes direction and rides 5 kilometers north west to a point z remember figure 1 how far is he from the starting point correct to the nearest kilometer remember figure 2 find the bearing of z from s to the nearest degree that is very simple the cyclist is somewhere here this is the west direction he faces this direction to point y now in this point you have the north and you have the west so the cyclist took this direction to a point z to a point z so you can join these two points together you see that so this is three kilometers here is five kilometers this angle here is 90 degrees now from west to north is 90 degrees but not west is half of it that is 45 degrees so here is 45 degrees and the whole of this angle becomes 135 degrees we are trying to see how we can use cosine rule to get this side so the angle facing this side is known you know this side you know this side of course you can use cosine rule to get the distance from the starting point the cyclist is not here this is the starting point you can get this distance Roman figure one how far is he from the starting point is the distance between s and z or a, z and s 
cosine rule is applicable here so this is the rule the side you are looking for the angle facing that side is always given you can see that here clearly 135 degrees so you you replace other sides with what they stand for you simplify you get this result when you multiply and add you get this result to get sy you need to take the square root of both sides and you have this result and that is 7.4305 to the nearest kilometer you have 7 kilometers remember figure 2 the bearing of s of z from s this is z this is s the the bearing is three digit so you have to start from the north to that point that join z and s together now from here to here alone is 270 that is three quadrants together this remaining angle theta is needed so the bearing is 270 degrees plus theta theta is needed which is obtained using side rule the side facing theta is known this angle is known and this side is known so you can use side rule stated in this form and you have it in this form if you make sine theta the subject you have this result if you first you cross multiply and divide both sides by this coefficient of sine theta so you have it in this form when you simplify you get this and when you divide you get this to get theta you take the inverse of sine of this value that is inverse of sine of 0.4 seven five eight that is twenty eight point four one degrees therefore bearing of z from s is two seventy degrees plus twenty eight point four one degrees that gives two hundred and ninety eight point four one degrees to the nearest degrees you have two hundred and ninety eight degree